Is every spider web unique? Spider webs are delicate, but also amazingly complex. Even if webs don't literally spell out the words terrific and radiant like in Charlotte's Web, each is still an intricate engineering marvel. But a web wouldn't be much use to a spider if it were just pretty to look at. Webs also trap insects and other prey long enough for a spider to immobilize them with venom or silk wrappings. Building these delicate traps is a process that follows patterns shared among spider species. But is there room for individual variation that makes one species web, or one individual spider's, recognizably different from another's? Are all webs identical, or is every spider web unique? There are about 48,000 known spider species worldwide. And while all spiders have silk-producing organs, known as spinnerets, and can produce several varieties of silk, not all spiders spin webs and lie in wait for their prey. The web is certainly affected by the kind of prey the spiders can expect, and by the kind of support spiders have to build their webs. Picture a spider web, and you might imagine a wheel-like structure with a spiral and spokes radiating outward from the center. These are known as orb webs, and they're made by fewer than 10% of known spider species. This type of web is ideal for catching flying insects because it covers a wide area for prey capture and is nearly invisible. Spiders that build orb webs typically begin with a few threads that center on a single point in a Y shape. The spider then establishes a frame around the Y, connecting a few more threads in the middle. Next come the spokes in the wheel, extending from the middle to the frame. Then the spider builds a spiral, starting from the center, but this is a non-sticky placeholder. The real spiral, made of sticky silk, comes last. Once the spider removes the first non-sticky spiral, the web is ready to catch its first victim. To some extent, all orb webs resemble each other, but there are details that differ between species. For example, spiders in the Cyclosa genus, also known as trash line orb weavers, Install a decoration in the middle of their webs made of prey leftovers and bits of leaves, which the spider may use as camouflage. Some time ago, I observed a web in Switzerland. And at that time, there was just one Cyclosa species known in Switzerland. And I knew, well, it's not the Cyclosa species I know. So it must be another one which had been documented to occur in Switzerland. Other orb weavers incorporate a zigzag structure into the web center, known as a stabilimentum. And while most orb weavers produce webs that are perpendicular to the ground, some, such as the silver orb spider, spin webs that are oriented horizontally. A web's physical location can also influence what it looks like. An orb web spider might build its web in flexible grass, or spin its web in a tree. So if you think of a spider building a web in a, in, in a forest with a strong wood, it has very good support, sturdy support. A spider building a web in grassland has to... Well, it's, a bit, it's a bit more difficult because uh, the grasses tend to be soft and they move around, so it has to give additional flexibility to the web. Even though the webs follow the same basic construction plan, they won't look exactly the same. Spiders make a fresh web every night or so, which means that a spider can produce about 100 to 200 webs over the course of its lifetime. Each web is likely just a little different from the other, though it might be tricky for a human to detect. And each web, if you look close enough, each web will be somewhat different. Intricate spider webs, just one of life's little mysteries. If you'd like more Life's Little Mysteries, check out these videos and read even more on lifescience.com.